Hey friends. Okay. So I'm actually done with my meal prep and I wanted to share about it. I'm going to tell you what I meal prepped, why I did it and how long it took. And if you have any questions, I want you to ask me, let's make sure everything's off. Yes, everything's off. And if you need help with meal prep, you let me know. I want to tell you that I like to keep it simple and quick and inexpensive <laughs> and to things that keep all week in the fridge. Um, I keep it to mostly proteins and veggies um, because I tend to sneak in carbs during the day. <laughs> like I just had a glass of champagne just to get rid of the bottle because I don't have room because I got to put all the stuff that I prepped in there. Um, why do I meal prep? Okay, so if you have a plan, even if you don't do 100% on the plan, it's way better than not having a plan, right? So if I wanna do well in my nutrition, then I have to have stuff planned and prepped. Otherwise, I grab whatever I feel like. And generally, especially these days, now that Jay loves my homemade granola, I tend to just grab it out of there if I don't have anything else ready. So um, ask me your questions about meal prep and I am gonna show you Hold on, I gotta just finish my video and then he wants to go get cookies. I forgot to get the cookie dough. I don't have any butter, so we're gonna go back to ShopRite for like the hundredth time this week. Because she didn't write a list! Because I didn't write a list and I don't remember things. <laughs> Look at your hair, woo! So um, anyways, so it's so important to meal prep because then we do better than we would otherwise. So I'm gonna show you and it also saves a ton of time it took me maybe two and a half hours, right? And you might be like, oh my God, I couldn't cook for two and a half hours. But think of all the time that it would have taken if I had to take everything out during the week, spend an hour, plus the kids like, you know, driving me nuts. I would have spent at least five hours this week meal prepping, if not more, right? Because you're, you're making your breakfast, you're making your lunch, you're making your dinner. Instead, everything's ready. I just grab it out of the fridge, throw it on a plate and heat it up. And I love all the things they made. So I'm going to show you. And also, just in case Jay's home. Hey, Steve, do you have a baby yet? <laughs> Why are you watching Facebook? Um, I'm going to show you what I made. So here we go. Let's flip it around. Flip. Okay. So, all right, Jax. Let's move that away. So I did, and I can't send you recipes so you're gonna have to listen <laughs> because I don't actually use any recipes I just kind of make the stuff um, I know what goes in it so I know how to count it so I kind of like overcook the cheese and that's another thing is I don't time anything so I kind of overcook the mozzarella cheese that's on top of the eggs um, this is an egg casserole that I make in a casserole dish. I used to do it in muffin tins and then I realized how freaking hard it was to wash and even my cleaning girls wouldn't wash the pan if I left it in the sink. And so I started making it in a big casserole dish and it comes out so easily. You can see the dish over there, easy to, to clean. So I cut this, I made six portions. I put a couple in the airtight container. I wrapped a few of them in cellophane. So what I do is I usually buy cartoned egg whites. I bought some at Costco this week uh, and I put whatever vegetables I have in it. So I used probably a quart of egg whites, which for me is six, it might've been two quarts. It was like, I don't know. I can't tell you. It was enough for six times eight, 48 egg whites, right? So much easier to just pour out of a carton. I pour that in the casserole dish don't grease the pan or anything. And then I throw in six cups of veggies, whatever I have. So I had yellow peppers, green peppers, onion, and tomatoes. And then I put two cups of cheese over the top. I don't usually overcook it like that, but that's the egg casserole. So that's breakfast, okay? Then we have over here, this is cauliflower fried rice. I do this in the Ninja. If you can see, here's the um, attachment, right? The food processor attachment. It takes like three little pulses with that um with the ninja food processor to throw i throw cauliflower in there i threw carrots in there and i threw some onions in there and everything gets riced down to the same size and then you put it all in a big pan here's the pan i used 
right? Let me shut this. Um, and you put it all around the outside, right? Well, first you can put it all in and you kind of like let it saute for a minute and then you push it to the outside and you make a well. And then I used eight whole eggs and I let those cook up in the center and then I brought everything in together. I used probably a little bit of soy sauce. I have some black sesame seeds, some ginger powder, and a little bit of mirin. And that takes like just a couple minutes to saute. So we have four of those. I also cooked two spaghetti squashes. So here's the trick with spaghetti squash. I take the whole thing, make a little slit in it with a knife and put it in the microwave for two minutes. Then I took it out, I cut it in half and I threw them in the oven for I don't know how long <laughs> until they looked like they were ready to fork the spaghetti squash. And so you'll see that at the bottom of these four containers and these four containers here. And so that's two whole spaghetti squashes. So I used a quarter of each of them. And then in this one, I have ground turkey and um, two small cans of tomatoes. One was the basil and oregano tomatoes, um, and the other one was fire roasted tomatoes. And that was it. That's all that went into that. And I so I sauteed all that up together and just poured it right over the spaghetti squash. Literally takes like 10 minutes to do. Okay, over here, this is actually Jay's chicken. This is his grilled chicken for grilled chicken salads. Um, I'll, I usually leave that to him. I might have a little of it. Otherwise, I'll use our turkey um, that we have cut up for salads. The other one with the spaghetti squash, this is pesto chicken. So I used the carrot tops, the greens from the carrots, some walnuts, some um, ground Parmesan, and a few um, roasted cloves of garlic and some olive oil. And I did that again in the Ninja food processor. And then I just poured it over the chopped chicken and sauteed it in a pan and put that right over the spaghetti squash too. And then the last thing, this one right here, last week I made this, if you had watched, um, with regular green cabbage. This week I got a red cabbage in my Misfits Organic Market Box. And so it's the same thing. It's kind of like an egg roll filling. I used soy sauce, ginger powder, and uh, a little bit of mirin. Again, same seasonings as the other one to uh, make the the meat to ground you know, it's ground turkey but it kind of comes out tasting like um, sausage almost and then to that I added carrots celery onions and the purple cabbage um, this the carrots and the onions I did like one pulse in the um, ninja just to make that a really quick chop and then the rest I shredded the cabbage and so that, after you finish ground, uh, browning the turkey, you just throw all the rest of the vegetables in. I threw the little black sesame seeds in there too. And so now I'm just gonna throw the lids on all this stuff and we are gonna run to ShopRite so Jackson can pick out some cookie dough. Uh, we'll make that the quick way, <laughs> not the homemade way. And we will make cookies and then head over to our friend's house for soccer outside and a barbecue. <laughs> If you guys have questions about meal prep, um, feel free to ask. I am going to put lids on all this stuff and put it in our downstairs refrigerator. Um, the freezer is packed, as you might guess, but the refrigerator uh, only has a bunch of beer in it. So we're going to put these downstairs and they'll be ready to grab and go during the week. All right. Take care, everyone.